Hello, this is going to be a little daily piano lesson of about five minutes. If you've got a keyboard, even if it's only eight notes long, that will be enough to get started with this. So do join in. OK, what we're looking at is the black and white notes of a piano. If you look at the back of the piano, you will see that there is a little step between each note, whether it's black to white, white to black or white to white. And each of those steps is called a semitone, which means a half step. So from here to here is a half step, and from here to here is a half step, and from here to here is a half step. If you come to the front of the keyboard, where you can only see white notes, some of the notes are still a half step from here to here. That's still a half step. But you can see if you go from here to here, though it looks like a half step at the front, at the back there's a sneaky black note in there. So actually this distance is a tone, it's a whole step. So we've got half steps and whole steps. Now, each of these notes has a name. This one, right in the middle of the keyboard, is called middle C. And if I walk up the white notes from middle C, I'm going to hear eight notes. And the last one, have a listen. It's exactly the same, it's just higher in pitch. It's an octave, like an octopus. It's eight notes higher. So if this is C, then the next note must be D. And the next note must be E. And then F and G, A, B, C. Now you might just be thinking to yourself, hang on a minute, you got up to G and then you went to A all of a sudden. Why on earth did you do that? Well, the musical alphabet is very short. I'm sure you know the song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know alphabet song. Well, the musical alphabet song would go like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 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 A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yes, there really are only seven letter names. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And all the C's on the piano live here below the two black notes. Do you see how there are groups of two and groups of three and then a group of two and then it goes up to a group of three. Let's see if I can move this around so you can see. There it is. And so forth. It just keeps on going two, three, two, three. So this little black note you can see here, that's the bottom of a group of three. But middle C lives in the middle of the piano where all the C's live just below the two black notes. And that means that all the D's, whether they be really low or really high, all live in the middle of the two black notes. So what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves some not very angry bear claws. Now, here's an angry bear claw. Arr! Oh, it's very tight. No, no, no. We want ooh, a slightly angry bear claw. And then we'll have a nice position for playing. Let's just move this out of the way so we can actually get to the piano. That would be good. There we are. I am going to put my thumb on C. I'm going to put my second finger. Oh, look. One, two, three, four, five. So I call this one, my thumb, second finger, two, three, four, 
five. When I say three, I mean this finger, your third finger. When I say five, I mean your little finger. When I say one, I mean your thumb. Did you know that people didn't used to play the piano like this, using all five fingers? They used to play it like this with flat hands. And not using their thumb at all, because it couldn't reach. Help! Then somebody, a long time ago, said, why don't we curl our hands? I don't think they said like sleeping bears, but there we are. And then the thumb could reach as well, and suddenly you could have five fingers. So we're going to try and play the five notes, saying the letter names as we play them. C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C. Now, if you play the notes and say the name, you're using more parts of your brain and you will remember it even better. So for this week, for this week, no, for this day, just for today, just practice. C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C. Try and make sure that your fingers don't fly into the air when you finish playing so that the only finger on the piano is the one you're trying to play because you will probably go horribly wrong if you do that. Keep your fingers gently sitting, not pushing, but gently sitting on the notes and gently press down. And then as you press your new note down, let your first note come up again. Up it comes. Now this one's going to get ready to come up. And now this one's going to get ready to come up. And now this one's going to get ready to come up. And I want to keep all those fingers resting nicely on the piano. Okay, more tomorrow.